Hey everyone, thank you for stopping back by the channel. I'm going to be featuring in this video for the female character the bodysuit components. And I'll show you here what I mean by bodysuit. If you look at it on the male, the colors are a little different than they are in female, but I'm going to be showing you how to get the top, the pants, and the shoes separately when you're doing components or doing a component transfer glitch. So the video is going to be a little long because there's some tips and tricks to kind of go through and I want to explain why they're listed the way they are on the component list and in the description. But if you just want components to drop down the description, you can find them there or you can find the full component list. But again, this is going to be a video to explain it a little bit more. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the bodysuit shoes. Now the bodysuit shoes only work as components with pants that go over the boots that are the components that equal the bodysuit shoes. That's kind of confusing, but I'm going to give you an example here obviously and show you what I mean. So you'll see here that the suit pants which equal the stockings on the female do go over the boots that equal the bodysuit shoes on the male. So that means that those will turn into bodysuit shoes and not the boots that these also will turn into. So the three options you have here are the brown tech boots, the beige tech boots, and then the black tech boots. These turn into the three colors of bodysuit shoes. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that underneath of the charcoal colored pinstripe suit pants. And then the bodysuit pieces work just like checkered items, meaning if you change anything at all on the outfit, the entire bodysuit portion will glitch away. So when you're doing this glitch, I suggest making sure you have the exact components that you want to create your outfit with put on with the bodysuit components. So for the first outfit, I'm also adding a red tank top, the black woolen gloves, and then the gold curb chain. And that's going to create a pretty decent looking outfit with these bodysuit shoes. Now for the second outfit, I'm going to give you another example here. And we're going to be doing the yellow chinos, which equal the leggings. Most of the chinos do equal leggings on the female character. So then once you have that together, then you want to also select a top that you're going to want to wear with this outfit to make it complete. I'm going to be doing the black coverall top that comes from the heist coveralls which equals this gray stealth leather jacket. And then I'm gonna select just a different color of these boots. I'm gonna do the black tech boots for this second outfit. And now for the third outfit, we're gonna be trying something a little weird. Um, I'm gonna be showing you that the overalls that equal the camo color joggers on female will also allow you to wear these bodysuit shoes with them because the overalls go over the boots. And I'm showing you here, just kind of scrolling to give you an example. You'll see that things like the shorts, some jeans, and other pants, they actually tuck into the boots. That means that they will not turn into bodysuit shoes if you put them with those boots. But again, you see here with the overalls, they do go over the boots. So that will make them the bodysuit shoes. So I'm doing the faded slate overalls here and I'm saving that on outfit slot number three. And we're going to be doing the beige colored shoes. And then just a standard red tank top just to make it match, obviously. But you're more than welcome to switch around and play with the tops. Of course, you are limited with this coverall or the overall here. So these are the three outfits we're going to be showcasing so I can show you the bodysuit shoes with the pants that do go over these boots. And then next, we're going to move on to the bodysuit tops. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're wearing gloves here because the bodysuit gloves will actually glitch through anyways. But I just kept on the black gloves for all of these outfits just to show you that everything transfers. So the really important thing here is you do have, again, three styles of the bodysuit tops. And the thing that turns these into bodysuit tops is when you put the hood up on the hoodie. So your three options here are going to be the black hoodie, the splat squash hoodie, and then the orange squash hoodie. So we're going to just select one of these. The first one I'm going to be doing is the orange squash hoodie. And then you can put any bottoms with these. So any bottom component like joggers, you can do stockings, bikini bottoms, you know, leggings, anything that you really want because that doesn't matter in the scheme of things. The only thing that matters is that you have the hood up. So the first outfit we're going to be doing the orange squash hoodie, the black leopard boxer pant or sorry, boxer shorts and then the white studded sneakers. And then go into your interaction menu, go into style, go down to hood and put that hood up. Then you can save the outfit. I'm going to save it here on slot number 4 just to kind of run through and show you all of the tops and you're good to go. So if you're doing multiple styles of these, when you go back into the hoodie section to select the next hoodie, it's just going to let you automatically have the hoodie up, but make sure you have the hoodie up. It's very important. Otherwise, these will not turn into the bodysuit tops. For the next outfit, we're going to be going under shorts and we're going to go on the off white cargo shorts, which are going to give you the black bikini bottoms. Again, you're not limited to the types of bottoms or even shoes you can wear with this top. You can wear anything. I've done so many different random outfits with this. 
So once you do have that saved, you want to go over again to the top section and we're going to be selecting a different style of hoodie now that's going to give us a different style of bodysuit top. So the one we're actually going to put on with this is going to be the splat squash hoodie, which is the gray and pink one. And you'll see because we already had the hood up in the interaction menu, it stays up on here. And then you can just go ahead and save your outfit. It, it doesn't really matter what shoes, you know, whatever you want. It's your preference on what shoes you actually wanted to wear with this bodysuit top. And then for the last one, we're going to go under this black hoodie here. And then we are going to select pants okay so i'm going to show you again here that we're going to be doing the bodysuit pants with this too because i thought that would look really cool just to give you another example of that so you've got on the the charcoal pinstripe suit pants and then we're going to be doing the black tech boots so then you can save this outfit again your hoodies up so you're also going to have stockings the bodysuit top and the bodysuit shoes with this outfit which also looks really cool together. This is one of the first ways I kind of figured out how to do these. So I'm showing you here just the three styles of tops that we have, hood up, and then we can move on to the pants. Now the pants are a little tricky. I'm going to be giving you an example of what you can do like initially to get any top or any shoes with these, but I'm also just going to give you the straight out flat components after I show you that. All right, so the pants are again a little confusing. You have two different options that you can do here. You can either just go straight components and you can set up the outfit with the top, the pant, the shoe component that you want and just be done. Or what you can do is you can transfer any of the other random cargo, you know, camo pattern shorts that you want and when you transfer those over to your female character when you open it up in crooked cop and then a titan of a job you can actually add any shoes or any top onto these pants and then save it and you'll have just like the pinkish colored of the bodysuit pants so that's a little confusing i'm going to show you what i mean here and then also if you just want the straight components check the component list i did update them because there was an error on there and then also just check the description for the components on what pants equal what pants so the first thing I'm going to do here in the video is I'm going to put on the peach digital cargo shorts. So now that I have those on, you can just add shoes, add tops, and this is going to be one of the ones that transfer as invisible. And then you can just add whatever shoe or top when you get over there. Or if you want, if you wanted to add black skate shoes with them and you know that right away, I know that's going to be a popular style with these pants, then you can go under team pants. You can go put those on, go to the boot section and the shoe section, put on the black scruffy boots there. And then when you go back into the shorts section, you can then select the shorts and you'll have technically the black shoe or the black skate shoe component with these shorts here and then you can select whatever style of top you want with this so again all of the colors except the blue the green and the brown digital will literally just default into the pinkish style of bodysuit pants once you open those up in crooked cop and a titan of a job and then you can select any style of top or shoes just depending on what you selected on your male character i'm sorry if that's confusing but hopefully it makes sense to you so then I'm going to show you an actual, I guess, component here that does turn into the pants, which is going to be the brown digital cargo shorts. And then I'm also going to save the light woodland too, which also will be invisible and you can add any top or any shoes to that. So here are the nine outfits that we're transferring with components. Again, check the description for each individual outfit as well as what each item equals for the bodysuit things so then you just use whatever component transfer glitch there is available right now which you can find in the description too with a link and here are the outfits that we got from transferring these components so i transferred the bodysuit shoes with stockings with the leggings and also with the camo colored joggers for the shoes and then for the tops you have just different styles of tops with joggers or with bikini bottoms or even stockings like I'm showing you here along with the actual shoes too. And then for the bottoms, you'll see that we have one that actually transferred because it is an actual component, which were the brown digital cargo shorts. And then the other two were two that just transferred as invisible. So we'll be able to go into a crooked cop and a Titan of a job, open up these outfits, edit them in a Titan of a job, save it. And that's where you can add any shoe or any top combo, depending on which one, you know, you transferred over which one you wanted to change. So I am going to quickly show you how to do that. For those of you that aren't familiar with being able to do this, to edit outfits, or even see what maybe you transferred over as incorrect, if something was invisible or things like that, which are reasons that you can't normally select things if you do transfer and they do not show up. 
So when you do go into Crooked Cop, set that to player-owned clothing and you need at least one person to start this job with you. Luckily, there's a lot of people doing this glitch, so people are joining me now, but I don't always have this luck, which is really weird. So when you do get into Crooked Cop and it's on player-owned clothing, just scroll over to that outfit that had the invisible portion on it, the one that you wanted to change. So I have two here, but I'm just gonna go on outfit number seven, which were one of the bottoms. Hit ready to play, and then you're gonna load into the job. When you load into the job, you need to add a rebreather or an earpiece by going in style, accessories, and gear. Once you do this, you will be able to then just quit the job through your phone and you'll load back into a GTA Online session. So as soon as you quit Crooked Cop and you load back into a GTA Online session, you're wanna, gonna wanna go to your pause menu and start up any mission. The mission can be a Titan of a Job or, or any of them on the list, but a Titan of a Job is the first one on the list. It's always the one everybody starts. It's the one you'll see most referenced when doing these kind of glitches. So this is the same kind of thing that you would do if you're doing like merging or you're just checking your outfits because you can't actually click on them. And you can start this all on your own. So you'll see here that you load in with the same exact outfit you left Crooked Cop with. Of course, you have the little Titan of a Job mask here, but you'll see that your pants are invisible. Because they're invisible, you can change either the shoes or either the top and then it will stick on this outfit. You can save it in the job and when you quit, you'll have this outfit now. So I'm just gonna show you here, I'm changing the shoes on it. I'm getting the sneakers that didn't have components on the mail just to make it go with these pants because it looks really good. You'll see here that if you try to also change the top, the pants will glitch away, but you can just do the top and not the sneakers and then it won't glitch away. So that's kind of weird and confusing, but whatever. So you can just save this in the job, quit the job through your phone again, and when you load back in online, you'll have this outfit. I'm also gonna quickly just show you here the three components that do equal each color of the bodysuit pants on the mail. You've got the blue digital, the brown digital, and the green digital cargo sports shorts. So once you transfer those over to your female, you do have all three colors of the bodysuit pants, which means when you're on your male character, you can put any top component, any shoe component, gloves, accessories, etc., etc. So this is a really, really easy kind of cool component thing you can do here, something a little different. These look really good with pretty much anything you put with. Obviously, if you're putting black stuff with them, they look even better. And then just drop a like, you know, drop a like on the video, leave me some comments. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Check the description if you have lots of questions, they might answer them for you, and I'll see you soon with more glitch videos.